welcome to laravel tutorial in this video you are going to learn laravel template so you have been using laravel template in previous videos also but this time we are going to dive down more into this laravel template so first we will see what is master template and then what is include template and how we can we can include the template and apart from that we will also uh, I will also show you that how you can include uh, you know bootstrap because you know without, without bootstrap designing uh, a template is not uh, you know that uh, good so we will use uh, bootstrap also in this video so first of all let's see what is master template okay so we are going to talk about master template so what is master template the blade master template is where we can place all the boilerplate that all pages will typically make use of so it will be like a master template okay so we will call this master template in all our other files or all other pages so most likely you will give its name as master blade.php but it's not necessary you can give any name so when other v file will use the master template it will use at the rate extends keyword to do so since our master page had the name of master dot blade page so in our v files when we will uh, use this we will use like this extends master because of this here this is your file name okay so the first section here we will use like this but remember as i mentioned before that you can give any name you like instead of master template for example default or uh, main whatever you like you can give its name so for example if you give here main dot blade dot php so in that case here will be main okay so now let's see this practically that how we can uh, use this let's open our command prompt and let's create a controller called pages so we will write here so here will be php artisan make controller then page controller so pages pages controller now let's see here if the pages has been created or not students then inside that app the http controller then inside that pages controller okay so this controller has been created here now let's create a function called public function index all right so inside that we will have a template return view students then home okay now let's create this blade file page 2 page 1 Push. Welcome to home page. So inside our app resources students, then it's better if I name it as pages. Okay, pages. So inside that, here will be home dot blade dot php but we need to change here as uh, pages right this is directory name the folder name this one and this is the following so we have created this one now we need to change into our routes as well so go to here and then uh, students then routes then a wave so 
here will be phases and then phases controller phases controller okay now let's try to open this here pages oh we need to start the server php artisan serve okay server is started and you can see as soon as i wrote here typed here pages then this welcome to home page is displaying so what we what is that we want to use bootstrap as well as header footer all that now let's create our blade file to n and then resources views and then here layout I'm giving folder name you can give any name okay layouts then master dot blade dot php here will be dot type html then head head title then body and then body closed and then finally html closed oh body and then html close okay now we will call here or bootstrap file so you have two ways either you can include here cdn or you can download the bootstrap and place into public html so let me show you with that download bootstrap go to bootstrap official website and then just download it copy this to and then mm, here are not active students then public HTML keep inside this right then to use this bootstrap we'll use this bootstrap min.css so student then resources views the layouts in here and right here link rel link rel style sheet and then which tab dot css inside body we need to write here yield content okay so here the content will be loaded off any page okay now let's create uh, no, in, this is the home page. Okay, so in this home blade, we will extend that, right? So here we will write. So add that extends layout. So is it layout or master? Right, master. So since this is one directory behind, that's why we are given here two dot and then content and inside that here at the rate and section in section so this is our home page now let's try to open this 
into the browser let's close this now refresh it mm, page not found which one home dot blade master not found sorry here will be master layout dot master because it's inside layout folder still there is layout master dot found okay so it's name it layouts so better name it as layout not layouts in okay. here also we will close master this one so open from here pages pages okay no resources views then layout then master blade okay so now let's try once again yeah now it's working but I think bootstrap is not working so we need to check here okay it's trying to find here bootstrap so that is inside CSS right inside CSS folder CSS yeah now it's bootstrap is working you can see here all the CSS is now loaded so as you can see using bootstrap is very easy in Laravel and also you can see that we have extended this master template into our home template so what's the syntax after it extends so we have included this one and then you need to write this section this section and inside the home page whatever you want now you can write more and more code and once again let me explain you this in a folder what we have done inside views we have created a folder called layout and that in that uh, we have placed this file master.blade and then we have created this pages folder and inside that we are extending so since uh, that one is one directory back that's why we have placed here two dot and then this is the folder name layout inside that master and then content and this one so so that's it in this video in the next video i will show you that how we can include header and footer in this master template so stay connected see you in the next video bye bye